guys, welcome to Be Thrifty 2. My name is Jesenia and today is a special video because I am participating in a collaboration with my YouTube Latina friends and I'm very excited because we are giving away some money. <laughs> yes, $150 to be exact. I will tell you more about it later on in the video. Today I have three DIYs for you. They are beach inspired because I love the beach and I'm from a very warm country down in the Caribbean. I'll let you guess which one. We speak Spanish. Comment down below if you think you know where I'm from. And with that said, let's get started. For this project, I am reusing an empty can that was headed to the trash as well as these pair of foam rounds that I got from the Dollar Tree and these dowels. I think I got these from Walmart. I'm going to paint the rounds with some regular house paint. This is left over from when I painted my bathroom. But I have added some sand to this paint to give my foam rounds some texture and to make it look less like foam and more like stone. Ooh, this is some thick paint. We're gonna spread it like butter on top, just like that. And we're gonna cover all the sides. My inspiration for this project came from this table that I spotted on Pinterest and I just love it. And since I can't have this table, I'm making miniature ones for my plants. Now for the dowels. I'm going to measure and cut them to the size of the can. This tool is a lifesaver, guys, when it comes to cutting small pieces of wood like these dowels. I'm going to use the seam that the can already has to help me keep them straight. I secure the dowel with a piece of tape and then I make my marks and cut. Okay, so let me tell you what is going on with these numbers up here. Both of my video cameras broke and I had no choice but to use an old camera that I found in a drawer <laughs> as well as my son's camera which uh, had so many buttons that I didn't even know what to do with it. My son's camera did not have a flip screen so I couldn't really see what I was doing and I didn't see the numbers until I was ready to edit. So. <laughs> I also did not realize um, many of my shots were out of focus. Just so you know, there will be a lot of annoying things happening in this video. Um, but I will be getting a new camera soon, so please subscribe! Now it's time for the stain. I diluted some brown acrylic paint in some water and then I just brush it on like so. Then I'm wiping any excess with a paper towel. Look at the difference in color. I love the darker brown tone. So nice. Next, I'm going to add a piece of felt to the bottom of the can to hide the can and to give it a more finished look. Then I'm going to add the painted top and this one is done. I made a second one because I felt it needed a partner. This one's a little bit shorter and a little bit wider. I also stained and cut a few skewers and used them to trim the underside where the foam meets the can to hide the hot glue mess. But the camera decided to give me the finger <laughs> when I tried to film this part. So I didn't capture any of it. 
Okay, so I saw this candle making kit at the Dollar Tree and I thought it would be fun to make it on this video. Here's what's inside. Three packets of scented wax in three different colors, already giving me beach vibes. And this glass vessel with the wicker already in place. Okay, so the instructions are super simple. You just have to pour the wax powder into the glass in any combination you choose. First, you struggle to open the bags, and then you pour like so. These smell so good, you guys. And that is it. Here's how it all looks together and decorated with some seashells. I love it so much. So cute. And speaking of seashells, for this next project, I will be using this large pickle jar, another trash to treasure moment, and some Dollar Tree seashells. <laughs> Let's take them out of the bag and see what I got for a dollar. Okay, that's not cute. You. They are a bit dirty, so I'll be giving these a hot bath. And now I'm out of focus. Okay, so first I'm going to paint the jar uh, using the regular house paint that I used on the foam rounds. This is the leftover paint from my bathroom makeover. I'll have it linked down below in case you haven't seen it yet. I want the jar to have a sandy texture, even though most of it is going to be covered by the seashells. But whatever parts of the jar does peek through, you will see the sandy texture. I got this box at Home Depot, but I'm pretty sure you can just use Dollar Tree sand and it'll work just fine. I added three scoops of sand to my paint, but you can add as much or as little as you want if you try this. And now we just paint it on. And look at the texture it creates. Next, I'm going to apply the seashells with some hot glue. I'm going to start with this one. It has this cute little barnacle attached to it. That's his best friend. The hardest part of this project was getting the seashells to fit comfortably against the jar and each other. So it was a bit like putting a puzzle together. Next, I'm going to fill in these larger gaps with these smaller seashells. Here's how it's looking so far. Next, I'm going to add some twine to the top of the jar to trim it off. 
And while I do that, let me tell you about our collaboration and how you can enter to win the $150 gift card from Amazon. This is the Hop Around Latin America collaboration. My Latina friends and I have gotten together to bring you lots of wonderful DIY inspiration with a bit of Latin flavor. So all you have to do is watch and like each video in the hop, listen for the Spanish keyword or phrase, I will tell you mine in a second, and you have to comment on what you think that word or phrase means. And please don't cheat. <laughs> The winner will be announced on Friday, June 11th. So make sure you watch all the videos and comment down below on each video. My word is Sancocho. Write what you think it means down below. Okay, my trim is done. Now I'm just cutting off any straggly pieces. And here's what it looks like. I added some palm leaves. And I think it looks very summery and very beachy. What do you guys think? This next DIY is a blurry mess. <laughs> I hope you can tell what I'm doing here. Uh, I'm actually painting a beach scene. Like I mentioned before, I love the beach and my youngest daughter does too. Some of my favorite memories are those of us eating mangoes on the beach every time we vacation in my country. It is very lovely there. And we love playing in the water and collecting seashells. So that's why I really like the beach. Let me give you another clue to where I'm from. In my country, we love to eat something called Los Tres Golpes. We also love music and dance. I'll have the link to these pictures down below. This painting was also inspired by this print that I saw on Pinterest. Mine is a little different because I'm going to add some depth and texture to it just a little bit. And I'm also using brighter colors as well because these are uh, the ones in my inspiration are a little bit more subdued. Mine are going to be a little bit brighter. I hope you guys are enjoying this painting, even though the video is so bad. Um, I am having a lot of fun making this piece, so I hope you guys are enjoying at least some of it. Here's where I finally realized I was out of focus. And like I said before, I'm going to add a little bit more texture to my painting with the seashells. And I'm going to add them right here in the corner. Here's 
here's how it turned out. It's not as nice as the original print, but I think I made it my own. And here's how all the pieces look together. Please leave a comment down below and please remember to comment about the word Sancocho. And remember to go on to the next participant in this hop. I will have the link down below in my description. So I will see you next time. Let's keep being thrifty together. Bye.